Hey everyone, what is up? It's What's Up Wednesdays here with Azucena Gonzalez. I'm a realtor with Mojican Associates. I'm also a Zumba instructor by night and day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I am a Zumba instructor, but all the time. So if you ever see me at a party, uh, you may, you know, you may see me bust out a Zumba move or two on the dance floor. <laughs> Anyways, so thank you so much for watching this video. First of all, uh, it, this is a really good way for you to keep in touch as to, you know, different information when it comes to the home buying process. Um, because, you know, a lot of people usually have questions about that and it's a very involved process. So with that being said, today's main topic is home warranties versus home insurance. Now, if you're the person that thought, oh, aren't they the same thing? <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> Don't worry, because I was there too. I used to think that home insurance and home warranty were kind of words that you could interchange. Like, oh yeah, so yeah, I had my home warranty and then the home insurance and they're probably like, what? People who knew what that was were probably like, why is she changing up her subjects? Um, but yeah, so they're actually two very different things and they come into the, the home buying process a little differently and then how you use them afterwards is also very different. So they're not different in that you um they are paid services okay now who pays for them is sometimes um variable it's subject to change and so the first thing that we'll talk about is home warranty now home warranties um i'm actually sharing it on my other page huh. so home warranties are essentially a con it's a con usually you sign a contract with somebody like one guard or Old Republic um, warranty, I think it's called Old Republic, Old Republic something. And basically, they agree to, um, you pay like, you either pay like an annual, you pay an annual fee, and you can do it in increments of like one or two years, sometimes more, it just depends on the company, and it covers different things. They may have certain plans, like, oh, like your basic platinum and then gold, per se, right? And so essentially each plan covers um, big items in the house. That may be your plumbing, that may be electrical, that may be your AC unit, plumbing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's usually what home warranties cover. Now, one thing that you will notice is that, um, one thing that you will notice with home warranties is that the buyer will, the seller, the seller the person selling their house will sometimes be like oh if you buy this house i'll throw in one year of home warranty they're basically saying yeah i'm gonna go ahead and buy this warranty that way you can rest assured that everything in the house is in working condition and if it's not in working condition the home warranty will take care of it now you have to be careful for pre-existing conditions um and everything varies so I always recommend that you speak your, with your realtor. You can always shoot me a, a message if you like about questions that you have, whether it be a recent transaction, sometimes you, something you had in the past, your current warranty and all that kind of good stuff, okay? So um, so yeah, so in the contract, uh, you, there's, a, there's a section in there where you can say that either the buyer or the seller will pay for the home warranty. Um, we typically see that the seller will pay for it, however, that isn't always the case. Now, I'm not going to say they always because, you know, they say never not to use absolute words like that, and it's true. So in some cases, we see that the sellers will buy a one-year warranty uh, for the client, for the buyer, okay? So, um, yeah, and that covers, again, big items in your house due to normal wear and tear. Now, sometimes that does include refrigerator, your washer, dryer. It just depends on what the plan you got is. So if you're like, ooh, I don't remember what it covers, go ahead and hit them up. Um, that is your respective um, home warranty provider. Um, yeah, it's always a good idea to at least know what's covered um, because, yeah, things can get expensive really quickly, you know, because you're responsible for everything that happens in your house and making sure that it's all functioning. Um, if you want it to be that way. <laughs> so home insurance, on the other hand, usually cover any kind of perils that happen to the home. If there's a flood, if there's a fire, um, if there's a tornado. Thankfully, we don't have tornadoes here in Arizona, but for other places, that is the case. Um, there's a burglar. Um, somebody ran through your house with their car. You know, that kind of stuff. Um your dog biting somebody. So all somebody getting hurt on your property, you know what I mean? 
um, that's what home insurance covers. So they're, again, they're both very different. And for home insurance, typically that is arranged by the buyer on their own. They might have somebody that they'd like to go go with. So say they have X provider, they, wanna, they might wanna go with X provider during the home buying process because X provider might be able to um, give them a, a, a discount for bundling, right? If you have your car insurance, your home insurance, uh, what other kinds of insurance? Life insurance, whatever kind of insurance you have, sometimes bundling is helpful, you know, or sometimes if you spend 15 minutes or more. <laughs> anyways. Um, <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, so that's kind of the thing about with home insurances, okay, and home warranties. Home warranties cover big items, again, that are more structural, plumbing, electrical, uh, plumbing, what else did I say? plumbing, electrical, AC units, that kind of stuff, where home insurance typically covers any kind of peril, so any kind of natural event that happens, a tree falls down on the house, that would be insurance, okay? Um, and then again, they come in different parts of the contract. Um, so yeah, that's basically the gist on home warranties and home insurance. I also wrote a blog in it. It's also short, sweet, and simple. If you go to Asusan, Asusena, Arizona Properties. No, if you go to Arizona. Oh, dear Jesus. I'm so sorry. Today's been a... <laughs> woo! Bear with me. If you go to Asusena, AZ Realtor, um, dot com. Yeah, so A-Z-U-C-E-N-A, A-Z Realtor. Dot com. You're able to see different houses, but you're also able to see different blogs that I've written, one of them being home warranties versus home insurance. Because I promise you, I had questions too. So if you have questions, let them be known because this way, the more you know, the better because this way you're able to make informed decisions. And that's the biggest thing because my biggest fear is people saying, well, I didn't know. No, not with me or not. You're going, you're going to know because you're going to know. Okay. It's, I'd, rather have the, I'd rather have it be to the point where you're like, okay. Like, seriously, stop. <laughs> Versus like, how come you can never talk to me? How come you're never responding to me? And that kind of stuff. Because, you know, it's all about communication. Because this is, we're a team. We're a team throughout this whole process and afterwards and everything. So, that being said, that's all I'm going to say about home warranties and um, home insurance. If you don't have any questions, again, let me know. Let your realtor know. Um, ask both of us. Ask whoever you feel comfortable with. Get in touch with your home insurance or home warranty provider for very specific questions on what they can and can't cover because it depends um, on the on the coverage you selected as well. So that's just something to be mindful of. Oh, hey, Casey. Um, now that being said, um, based off today's topics, um, I put Yuma and San Diego. So you're like, oh, what does that mean? So y'all know I'm from Yuma. I'm a Yuma, Yuma. I'm a Yuma native. I'm an Arizona native. And I'm gonna be going home. Yay! So that's about three hours from here because I'm here in Phoenix. So I'm really excited because that means I get to spend time with family. I have to, I get to have an entumido, and entumidos are really delicious. I see that I cannot find in Tucson or Phoenix or in this Maricopa County. So I'm super happy to go home and have one of those. And yeah, gonna be hanging out, but also working really hard while I'm over there. So I'm basically saying this because. If you're here in Phoenix, don't worry about it because I still got you, boo. The wonderful thing about real estate is that I'm able to work independently without being tied down to one area, okay? And if there's certain things that I need to be there in person for, again, I got you covered because I have a wonderful group of people that I work with at Mojica and Associates. So know that you are covered and that you know if somebody else is going to be stepping in for my place for a couple of things, okay? And that I'm always available by phone. Like, that's the beauty about technology. I have my phone. I can access email and all that kind of good stuff. So, I'm only one call away. <laughs> Anyways, did anybody listen to the song, uh, One Call Away by Chingy? It's a little old. It's a good song. Anyways, uh, so seriously though, I'll be, I'm like Chingy. I'm only call, uh, one call away. Um, and if you are in Yuma or in San Diego and you just have questions or want to hit me up and you're like, you know what? I want to talk. Let's talk. I love talking obviously no but seriously if you have any questions please come at me um i know that there had been this lady who I hadn't spoken with um i went to high school with her son and, and um i was involved with the same youth group that her children were in and she reached out to me recently and she was like oh hey like i had some questions for you and there there was two different in instances where i helped her out um and just answered questions like like seriously i mean it can be the the most random thing 
I love random. <laughs> so, I mean, it was just great. I was really touched that she felt comfortable to reach out to me. So I encourage you. I don't bite, especially not over the phone or over text or over email, over messenger, whatever. Talk to me. This is what I'm here for. I'm all about making sure that you know that you are in the know. Okay. Um, so yeah, so if I'm going to be in Yuma for a while. Hit me up. If you're in San Diego, hit me up too. Like I'll be like, hey, we can go to the beach. We can do something fun. I'm excited. This is why I'm going hard at the gym, harder at the gym. Now I'm like, ugh, ugh. I'm super excited because, you know, trying to go all beast mode and whatnot. But anyways, so that being said, because I will be in Yuma, uh, the free Zumba event for this month will be in Yuma. Yay! Anyways, I'm super excited. I, I'm always excited to be in Yuma. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to do some, hey Carmen, to be able to do some Zumba in Yuma. I'm still, it's going to be on Saturday, the 26th of May. I'm still picking a park. I'm thinking about the park next to Cibola for all you humans. You know where I'm talking about, right? On 20th Street. And I don't know that one street, but between Avenue C and Avenue D, you know that one park next to the tennis courts, um, right next to Cibola. Um, excuse me. That's the park I'm thinking about. Um, doing it at. So I'm super excited. Stay tuned for more details on that because I will be finalizing that soon. Um, because I don't want you to make plans to spend an hour with me. And we're going to pick a time of day that is not hot. So it'll probably be early in the morning, but rise early with me and have some fun. There's no better way to wake up in the morning than to do Zumba. Like seriously, it's like the best. So you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to go do Zumba <laughs> with awesome people and great music. Who else doesn't want that? So yeah um and then another thing is uh if you're still here in phoenix with me let's try out classes together i'm super excited tonight i'm actually gonna go to a kickboxing class i've never done kickboxing but here we go we'll see how it goes it'll be okay i'm gonna survive i might look funny but hey i'm gonna give it 100 okay and then the other thing is that if you're here in the south side of phoenix even if you're not, even if you're way all the way in El Mirage or if you're in Apache Junction and you're looking for a cool treat, you will not be disappointed if you go to El Mitote. Okay, so I have the name of the place in the agenda for the, for today. So El Mitote, which is basically like the gossip, <laughs> is a, it's a little snack. It's a Mexican snack stand, like a refresqueria, right? That's kind of what we would call it. Um, and basically they sell like shaved ice. They sell tostitos, which are a type of chips, uh, a type of chips. And anyways, they're really good because they, they have some where they put like cabbage, cucumber, peanuts, and then like little pieces of tamarind candy. I actually had that this Sunday. <laughs> it was really good. I've also had the tostilocos that are uh, out of corn and they basically do the chips again, but corn, mayonnaise, cheese. I mean, it's a, it's a... <sighs> It's good. Like it's super good. They have uh, they have different kinds of chamoyadas, uh, mango, piña, pineapple, and then I think the other one is tamarind. And then they also have manzanas, which are apples, green apples covered in tamarind. It's so good. It's sliced up with peanuts again and all kinds of good stuff. And then they also have a coco, a coconut, and they do the same thing to it. It's just good. They sell ice cream cones too. If you're just like you know what, I just want like a basic snack. They also have that. They have different kinds of ice cream. Um, but seriously, if you're gonna go, like, you need to try out these raspados. Like, they're delicious. And there's a little, and there's like little space for you to go ahead and enjoy your snack there. It's super cool. Like, it's super legit. I love it. Um, yeah. So if you go, let me know, cause maybe I'll go with you. <laughs> I never say no to El Mitote, cause it's so good. Um, but also to let me know what you got because sometimes I haven't tried everything off their menu I think I've tried it like I think five of their items and they have like maybe 20 if Not more. I don't know. I usually don't count them. I'm just like ah. But yeah, let me know I want to know if you found if you like something from there Like I want to know because then I'd be like, okay now I know what to try next because I'm always looking to try something new Talking about that. I actually one time I bought a new bag of like twizzlers right this was a while this was like years ago because i was like oh i love twizzlers and look at this is like the rainbow i love the rainbow like this has got to be good they were not good <laughs> long story short they were not good i was so sad i was eating these twizzler things and i was just like they all tasted the same to me i was like hmm. 
<laughs> and it wasn't like a flavor that I liked, but I ate them all. <laughs> no one stopped me. I ate them all. <laughs> have you ever done that before? We know you have. You know what I'm saying? It happens from time to time. You're just like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Anyways, well, I'm going to let y'all go. I got some stuff that I need to get working on again. But I hope you have a wonderful hump day and uh, just a very productive rest of your week. We still got four days left in it, so make a count. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you all soon. Bye.